Hi guys, it's me Brenda and this is my first ever Cozy Calls episode. Um, I'm very nervous, I think. Am I not? I'm not sure, but I'm definitely excited. And not only because it's my first ever episode, it's because, it's also because I will be talking to one of the world's most famous astrologers. And he lives in India, his name is Sandeep Koshar, and he has worked with uh, clients who are politicians, cricket players, singers, songwriters, actors, actresses, producers, directors, you name it. And he also hosts his own astrology TV show on national TV, which is the longest running astrology TV show in India and has been viewed in more than 120 countries. And he has also won many awards. And from what I know, he's not only an astrologer, but he's also a motivational coach, uh, a speaker, a, I think many, uh, also an actor, I think. So yeah, I will be talking to him today. Let's call him. Let's hit him up. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Good, you told me to walk. So I'm taking a walk. <laughs> just, just give me a moment here. Yeah. It's okay. Hello. You are mute. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was talking to you. I'm saying... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Today is a, cha a chaotic day. How do you say chaotic? Yeah, it is. It is. Even for me, I just finished my live Instagram. And I missed yeah. my, my breakfast. So just had my breakfast just now. Oh, and then uh, there okay. was a call, which was never ending call. So And I knew I, I'm already late. So do you want me to uh, join okay. again so that you can start it? In a no, no, it's okay. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. Basically, mm -hmm. how when you um, have a FaceTime call with your friends, uh, it's not really, there's no right way to have a FaceTime call with your friends, you know? It can be chaotic. Someone randomly walks in or someone gets a call and you have to hang up or you're just on your way to work when you're having a FaceTime call. That was kind of the idea. Because okay. I used to call my friends a lot, so I thought it would be a great idea to make it to a show or a podcast. So uh, so that means whatever I've done till now unprofessionally, it is, it is all a part of your podcast. Yeah, <laughs> they're <laughs> all going to see it. So first of all, I wanted to say it's a real honor to have a call with you because um, I actually got introduced basically to astrology to through uh, TikTok in 2019 mm -hmm. and I remember um, I first saw videos of birth charts and I was really confused about the houses you know because they use uh, mostly western astrology and yep. then from my grandma I heard um, astrology is actually uh, Vedic like absolutely Yes, Vedic. And I learned like every house has a different meaning assigned to different planets. I wanted to ask you, um, how did you come to discover astrology? I'm into this uh, amazing uh, journey of astrology. It's been 24 years, uh, Brenda. And I think uh, I'm blessed because uh, it has given me those insights which no man-made other thing like computer, supercomputer can tell you who you are and where you are heading and what's going to happen tomorrow. So astrology is such a beautiful science. It is a divine science because it is a part of Vedas, the oldest, oldest scriptures on the planet. Mm -hmm. And from there, eight to 10,000 years ago, you know, from there to my MacBook, I, I see the horoscope, the same horoscope, the same programming of horoscope on my MacBook. So it is, if it is still valid because it, is, it has a substance. So astrology, there are people who maybe not believe in it. But uh, but stars influence everyone, no matter who the person is, which, which city or country the person is living with, with what uh, kind of belief or nationality. It definitely influences anyone, everyone. That is how you feel, see people are different or even if uh, you know them, they, they now they, they sound different because with change of time, uh, yeah. the planet changes. And when planet changes, it influences your mind and you exactly be, start behaving 
according to the the tendency of that particular planet so your planet makes your life your psychology your mindset your journey your good bad your your strength weakness potential everything belongs to your horoscope and in a few seconds i can understand who you are and then your past can, your yeah. can you like when you because i heard of ascendant which is mm -hmm. basically how someone appears to the public can yeah. you tell from looking at me what my ascendant is because i know i have my chart right here I know. <laughs> you see, uh, I need your uh, date of birth, time, and place. Uh, one. Secondly, uh, you know, uh, like uh, I don't see your ears, and then your um, eyebrows you keep on changing. So it is not easy. Good thing no, is, no, my eyebrows show me both are ears. like I don't bra Achha, draw. Acha, show the show your uh, show your uh, this thing ears. I have really small ears. Uh, no, look straight. Like look this. straight, and yeah. No, again, ears are not visible. Yeah, they are not visible. You can barely Achha. see them. They're like this. Achha. They're very like. Okay, like that. Yeah. So, they're... so having those strong uh, eyebrows and your uh, little bit, uh, you know, folded ears, uh, it looks like you you may belong to any uh, ascendant which is ruled by Mars, because Mars is a planet of energy. So Aries, Scorpio, these are the planet, or at least Mars should be associated with your ascendant. That is how you look. It's Scorpio, like Vedic. Yeah. It's a uh, yeah. Scorpio and Western. It's Sagittarius. So you are a Scorpio because we all follow uh, Vedic astrology. So astrology. That is how. That is why for all my clients, I ask them to send their pictures and the pictures of the palm, and then I deem their date of birth, time, and place because sometimes time of birth may be incorrect. So looking at you, I should know who you are. So if I yeah. if you look like a Scorpio ascendant to me, then definitely you know if and the the yeah. the time of birth is on the border, then I fix it. But just looking at your face, because I, as you have said, yeah, I think I look like a Scorpio ascendant. I I noticed that um, when uh, comparing Vedic to Western astrology charts, that Vedic are more accurate. I came to India actually. We went to Rishi, and um, he read my chart, and he was like, the first thing he said to my uh, mom, she has quite the temper she has quite the temper and my my mom was like so what can we do to calm her and she was like well you can't really do anything but you can give um like milk to people in need do you think these um practices are actually worth it uh, i can't comment on that uh, because i never follow it uh, for me uh, you know this is who you are But yeah. astrology, uh, the purpose of astrology is not about send, tell, telling you some rituals and then you change it. You can't change anything. Okay. But you can first. You need to realize that who you are. Like today, if I have found you as a Scorpio ascendant, that's the reason you you are authoritative. So your temper is something which uh, may not be under your control because that is how you are made up of your your eyebrows yeah. and your ears. It shows that Martian, uh, you know, uh, effect on you. So one. When you will realize that there is a need to change, first you need to know that there is a problem. The first introspection, and yeah. then there is a need to change. And then when you start working on it consciously, then only you, the change can come to you. And another aspect to it yeah. is, you know, when you meditate, your meditation is a can change anyone. Actually, meditation can yeah, be life changing thing for everyone. You can overcome your emotional imbalances. Somebody is too sensitive. You are so um, strong uh, in a way, like authoritative, you know, bit aggressive. So meditation will help you to to check on your emotions of any kind, and okay. that will give you more peace and more positivity, more happiness. I wanted to ask you something, um, because because you read celebrities' charts, right? Um. When you read their charts, do you see certain similarities, um, especially um, uh, celebrities have who have built themselves up on their own, like not nepotism, that's a different thing, but if they have like accomplished things on their own, be becoming famous on their own, do they have similarities in their chart? Yeah, of course, uh, they are actually every horoscope is different. And people are different and different uh, way yeah. of uh, their doing their things. But uh, one thing which is common in them is uh, their their energies within. So first thing is you know what you want. A story says what is your desire. So your desire to become famous is the first thing which will drive you here. You know it is not somebody will claim that you know I was just sitting 
in my home and some, somebody uh, you know uh, ring a bell a doorbell and i got i got an offer no it is not like that you know it is something which you have it in you then you you start thinking because i believe in one thing your thought become your action yeah what do you think is, is what you become so everything you know is related to your mindset so people who can manifest themselves you know to to do something they need to work on it as well so only thinking about something like say manifest whatever you want it will work no it will never work manifest something which is practical and what you are doing about that manifestation can help you to manifest things in in reality otherwise manifestation will will be just a thought and it will be just an imagination to to make your manifestation real you need to work hard towards it and know your time the astrology yeah. here plays a great role uh, brinda which will help you to understand like i said who you are and what are your strength weaknesses and potential where you are heading what time it is and taking right decision at the right time is what we call luck yeah i'm not sure if i am a very lucky person i'm told i'm lucky but i don't know uh, why not see if you are happy that means you are lucky i always say if anyone who is happy is blessed yeah so, i see I'm lucky so... lucky is not about yeah. winning a lottery you know that is not luck that is something which yeah. has happened to you maybe and what you will do with that money which you have earned just unexpectedly you know so what i'm saying is it is a happiness which you, which you have if you are happy you are lucky so both ways it works a, a happy person can bring every kind of energies and you know get opportunities and can attract all prosperities in life and happy person is always you know uh, cherished with everything beautiful uh, yeah. there is a statement which you may not like there are people who are so poor the only thing they have is money yeah i've heard that one before and it's yeah. true um mm. they especially i've noticed that um celebrities in general when you watch their videos and stuff most like many end up single because they never can find a spouse um because most spouses like most potential partners they're seeing are the ones who um already know about them and are only in there for the money they do mm. not care about that person so it's Absolutely. really hard mm. and most so people, people think mm. that happiness comes from you know having a family most people think that um, some think it's money i think it's both cuz um money does bring some happiness for example having a stable life knowing that you are safe um that you have a home you know you can buy a home with it um but too much money is kind of overflowing that if you have too much money i think we should give it to someone if we can to help them it is all about maintaining a balance like yeah. bill gates you know he became the most charitable person on the planet when he became the richest man on the planet so yeah. they say charity charity begins at home so first when you are taking care of yourself in every possible way you know a, a good house to live in and good amenities to have and do what uh, makes you happy then you can definitely you need to ch- do some charity because whatever goes around comes around you know so your yeah. ch- charity or compassionate mind will bring you a lot of prosperity and a lot of happiness good health you know yeah. good wishes so so i believe in it definitely yeah, you know, these if, energies yeah help you. if you do not love yourself if you do not help yourself first you're not able to help anyone else because you Absolutely. don't see the value um yeah. in helping others if you haven't helped yourself first i think that's very important for people to know so, and understand so, uh, so i can, can i ask you how old are you i'm an astrologer i'm i can ask you that yeah yeah do you want to guess No I don't want to but I am just asking curious. <laughs> um I'm 22. I just turned 22 on but, September 19th. I'm 2001. Okay. I was born wow, in happy. 2001. Yeah. Happy happy belated birthday. And Thank but you 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 look like uh, 42 to me. The way you are talking. I'm an old so, soul. I yes, I think so I'm an old soul. This is the reason I I was asking your age because uh, the way you are sounding is is quite uh, way ahead than your age so is a compliment i wanted to give it to you thank you and where did you learn everything from whom there, there are uh, colleges now there are institutes you know which uh, teaches you astrology uh, in various okay. parts of india so i have done three years course uh, some 25 years back and yeah. then over the period of time you know it is on the job learning the more horoscope you see the more you people you come across the more you understand things so now 24 years is a long journey already and i've seen more than uh, 100000 horoscope till now so so uh, so for me it takes hardly few seconds to understand exactly 
yeah who the person is and what situation the person is and even for my clients i don't ask them why you why they are calling me i only talk for 20 minutes at stretch okay. and uh, and then i ask them i hope whatever I told you is matching and uh, do you have any question to ask and they say no you have covered it all and whatever you said is right because astrology should never go wrong actually yeah. i wrote it once on on facebook astrology is always right but astrologers are left and right so because of growing number of astrologers you know making it commercial uh, you know the people are taking others for right i'm not saying everyone but most of them but astrology is such a beautiful science as i said astrologer can be your friend for life he can help yeah. you to understand who you are and that is if you understand your journey it's like gps you know you know your your way to home but you don't know that there is a traffic uh, bad traffic is bad or there is a diversion so you, you are aware now what to do take a left right or u turn so astrology is also a gps which help you to understand in the journey of life towards your destination so once you are aware about your good bad and you know sometime you know you don't need to take a decision i use a statement every time in the situation i say no decision is better than bad decision so i think yeah. you should know what not to do when to do and that is a great time you know so that is the purpose of astrology is to make you aware and help you to take the right decision at the right time and this is what we call luck If someone wants to become an astrologer and as successful as you what do you think is the best way to go about it so first thing is conscious you know it is, you should not think that it is a business of easy money making uh, thing you should feel responsible towards everyone because it is a divine science there is a divinity associated to it so uh, anyone can learn astrology but predicting it predicting in the right way you know with yeah. the right approach with the right mindset is more important so if you feel you know if i tell you something scary and if i'll charge you more money and that i will get some remedy done here in india or i will send you some talisman you can keep it at your home and things will change nothing will change so the change is you know and this is what my favorite statement again another another favorite statement is destiny is fixed no one can change but a change is change when you change so when you understand about your journey an astrologer who is a stranger if he is telling you exactly the way you are and what you are going through and what you can expect in life that is how it can give you a complete understanding about your journey and your own mind that is how you 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 sometime you have to accept it the way it is sometime you need to work harder towards it sometime you need to let go also because the time is not right or maybe the thing is not right so it will help you to take the right decision otherwise most of the time people come to me when they take wrong decisions at the wrong uh. time yeah so even the most beautiful you know when anyone who has ticked all the boxes uh one box which they are not aware of is the time so they they think yeah my planning is great everything is all good i've put money and i've got investors and whoever but they don't know the time is bad so you should know your time and time is above everything you know going to a astrologer and the right yeah. astrologer is also a part of your destiny if you oh, if you are yeah. supposed to do something wrong so you will definitely think that what you are thinking is right or you might take get a wrong advice also yeah. but when you when you are blessed then you you may come across someone who can guide you or don't do this or wait for some more time and that is how you can secure yourself so astrology is like you can't stop rain but you can wear, you can carry an umbrella or wear a raincoat astrology helps you with that you are part of my destiny too <laughs> oh yeah of course as i said there is no coincidence there is no coincidence yeah. you know you have a, you have a... coincidence either i don't believe anything is a coincidence yeah i i remember i Okay so I started like asking people to be on my podcast in June. Mm-hmm. Not denied, 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 denied. But I failed so many times in my life that I'm like okay they did not accept me. I'm just going to go on and continue. And I I think I emailed over 10,000 people, 100, I don't Why? know, but I was emailing people more like there were days i was emailing more than 100 people a day cuz i oh was like I, i really want to do this start a podcast like or a show whatever this is and let's see how it's going to go I'm i sure really don't maybe, know no maybe someday i will i will read your horoscope and help you to understand your journey but yeah. uh, but it is, it is a great beginning already you know and you you are uh, taking that statement i can too seriously because from i can to spam everyone yeah. is what you are doing you know so <laughs> sending 100 mails every day is like spamming everyone but uh, i'm just joking what i'm saying is uh, this is your determination so your determination yeah. is what will help you you know sometime you give up you know you try once you try 10 times and 100 times but the way you are doing is really appreciated because no one knows you so if people they don't know you they, they will find it difficult to connect with you so out of yeah. blue you know if we are connected there's always a reason and purpose one thing will lead to another and that is how it happens even in my profession you know no matter how much what whatever 
way you can do advertisement word of mouth no one can beat it yeah so one, yeah so that is how it works so i think i really appreciate the way you are and you have lot of dreams yeah. and god willing you should uh, you know uh, fulfill all of them i think there's always a reason um there obviously people are going to ignore my email or j- just not answer if they don't know me like i am not on social media i'm like nowhere and i'm mm-hmm. coming out of nowhere and contacting random celebrities their publicists obviously they're not going to reply if i would be a celebrity i would be like i don't what if it's a crazy fan or something right um so i was really honored and i really appreciate that you took your time for this i think that everyone um that if people want to be successful um they need to fail like they need to fail uh, only with mistakes failure and punishment you can succeed um cuz it takes taking risks absolutely if you don't try then you don't achieve you know the experience yeah. is the name people give to their mistake so that is how it works so i, yeah. I really uh, appreciate your your uh, you know uh, the zest of doing it you know Thank because you. the determination is something which can definitely help you and one thing will always lead to another i believe in it so your thought about doing this is not a coincidence and uh, i'm sure you will definitely achieve more and you you are scorpios which which uh, never give up you know so your determination yeah. is again from coming from there your mars is a ruler so your initiative it has become your number one uh, friend so the more effort you you put the more luck is going to support you so even in astrology you know there is a saying in hindi or sanskrit they say karm pradhan hai your deeds can influence your destiny yeah the more effort you put and the right with the right intent with the right space of mind uh, with with the right manifestation that is how it is going to work for you i wanted to ask you something um about birth charts cuz i've my up right now and um for my podcast i was uh, thinking or show i i will keep on saying it forever i'm sorry i don't know if it's a podcast or a show but <laughs> um i was like thinking of uh, the background of the logo i have it as a like colorful um pink blue i don't know but i i it feels like it's wrong so i wanted to ask i have to look at my 10th house right Mhm. And it but with me it's in Virgo and my 10th house has uh Mercury in it. Oh, it makes sense Mercury communication. Of course yes, communication yes. that is what you are doing exactly. Yes. Um so what colors fit Virgo best for if it's in a 10th house? All always green. Green is a color of communication, nature. you know healing to so green is something which will always uh, uh, good for your communication skills and your networking and that is what okay. you are doing so maybe okay. someday i will i will read your horoscope and help you to understand you know the right ascendant and where where is your what planet is influencing you and what you need to do okay uh, we talked about um um how is the best way of becoming an astrologer like you i wanted to ask what qualities should a person have who wants to become an astrologer yeah so that is exactly what i said uh you know your clear conscious is the first thing and then how your spiritual connect astrologer should need to be a spiritual person if he become too materialistic then he will be thinking of his own betterment so it is a divine sign where you are responsible each and every word what you use you know your your person is listening to it and you can either make him or break him you know that is how it is so even it is not every time you have to tell good things if time is good obviously you should but what if time is bad and again you are motivating a person unnecessarily or telling him you know the other side which may he may not be able to achieve then it is a crime yeah. because you will motivate him for no reason and he will have better expectation and then he will feel more depressed so you have to be quite clear in what you say how you say and you you have to make a person understand about the journey so it is not everyone is is here to to become famous and become a superstar there there are many millions other ways to live your life so not every famous person is uh, happy and not every person who is unknown is, is uh, upset so there are people who are famous but they are miserable if you ask me so so the the journey has to be more important than your destination this is what i believe okay. So for astrology becoming an astrologer you read many books right and you learned mm. a lot is there anything you discovered solely on your own when reading someone's chart that you hadn't learned before 
like a discovery uh, discovery you made yeah so it is quite diff- difficult to pinpoint something but uh, 24 years is a long journey and uh, i forgot completely what i learned from which book or which teacher you know but over the period of time when you see 100000 horoscopes more than that you start uh, understanding planet the psychology of planets yeah. you start rel- relating to each and every planet you know how it is so uh, it is like you know you learn basics a b c d then you learn grammar but that doesn't make anyone a, a, a great writer or a preacher yeah. you know it is how you bring it within you know every person who knows english doesn't mean that they they will form the same set the sentence or everyone will become a writer or somebody so it is it is something which is within so everyone's conscious and everyone's understanding his own mindset can make a person you know a a a, a famous writer or you you are just good in drafting mails so there is a you know you have learned that 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 language from the same teacher but your approach towards it is different so everyone is different so uh, what i feel is i have understood the psychology of planet and that have made me under, you know realize that uh, how a person behaves and how a person think and this is psychology actually it is complete psychology what uh, psychology you know in any other means in even in what you call modern sciences you know if, if somebody will claim to read uh, know your psychology i will come up with your date of time of birth with my own understanding and trust me it will be more closer to the other side so astrologer can be a great friend a great psychologist a great counselor a great coach a great motivator and he can or change your life completely by yeah. uh, making you aware about your own strength weakness and potential are there any um struggles you personally went through when becoming an astrologer yeah in earlier days you know when uh, i'm talking about 24 years back uh, on television only a person who looks like uh, a brahmin uh, you know with with some rudraksh hair and uh, some tika hair you know that's yeah. the right kind of uh, that was the perception of astrologer pandit ji uh, that time and it took uh, people to realize that six months at least i was on television for nine years so first six months they thought i am just an anchor reading out something from teleprompter oh, and reading okay. <laughs> then they realized i am a astrologer because i never sounded like a astrologer or, or looked like a astrologer so i am a poet so i i brought my own poetry i created poetries and uh, i related it with the life uh, human mindset and human psychology so i i i started doing it totally differently than most of them at that time oh okay so that was the first challenge which i which i faced still people you know my wife tell me you know <clears throat> why you uh, color your hair the more gray you know uh, will appear the more people will respect you so if you look younger <laughs> then then you know it is against against my profession so my language my looks and everything is is unprofessional if you ask me okay so these are also like misconceptions right cuz i wanted to ask you what misconceptions come with being an astrologer and you just mentioned that people expect them to be like brahmin right mm. wait well i thought that a uh, caste system is not a thing anymore in india no no it is not about see uh, why i said that uh, it is about uh, uh, you know not casteism what what i mean is you know sanskrit is a ancient language and at that time only brahmins were oh, the okay. one who 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 learned sanskrit rest yeah. were doing other course of like fewer warriors and few had you know there there were four types of uh, uh, system right. so what i'm saying is over the period of time then then it it, it became more like a uh, you know, traditional way of learning astrology but with the change okay. of time with internet coming uh, you know this sanskrit books and everything got translated into english and hindi and other uh, regional languages also so it got easy to learn astrology for everyone so yeah. that is how it is so the but, but the perception perception mostly is still that if you know if he is from that particular system or he looks like uh, like a brahman i said pandit ji that is how you know you relate like a doctor even he is doing a television show he will put a stethoscope around to to portray that is a doctor lawyer will put something you know black color and your hair tie bow tie white so it looks like it's a perception i'm saying so i i i'm still trying to break that perception i'm successful in that uh, god has been kind and people understood that astrology is not about only mysticism it is also about understanding you know life and and i became a life coach uh, and thanks to astrology yeah i think your journey is really like admiring um cuz i can't imagine how it would have been like 
I admire you in general after I because I I was researching about astrology and then I found you and I read your story and everything and then I emailed you and you said yeah we we can talk I have a call I'm not sure if I was uh, nervous I I think I was more excited I couldn't feel being nervous Let's say it that way. I, I'm very honored. You don't know. Mm. You kept like before you kept saying, yeah, I admire like you were saying that to me. I was like, you don't know how much I admire you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's a compliment. And, uh, you know, it's a good motivation. So uh, as I've said, that everything is a reason. There is no coincidence. So connecting here is, is yeah. something, you know, and my, maybe a lot of people may go through this podcast and they will also change their perception towards astrology. They will understand yeah. you know, that there, there can be a friend who can help you uh, to plan their journey, uh, you know, in this life. So that is how it is. So you might change lives, actually. Why do you think people do not believe in astrology anymore? Because it used to be a, hu- a very huge in India. Is mm-hmm. it because of colonization? Yeah, a lot of things changed during that time. Uh, but again, it has revived. You know, yeah, and and people like Ayurveda is happening now more than earlier. You know, so Ayurveda yoga is happening now. You know, so people yeah. have realized the importance of ancient sciences which we used to follow in in olden days. So in between, because of that, what you said, colonization has definitely eroded a lot of Indian yeah. culture and system. But thanks to uh, uh, this new generation, they are they are open to adapt anything coming from the past, and they are finding it amazing. So so that is the reason. Otherwise. Yeah. I'm quite an honest and truthful person in my life. If this astrology is a gimmick, I will never do it. So I know it is something which is a, such a powerful science which can help anyone to change their course of action by understanding their life and becoming a better version of themselves. So it, I'm taking as, as you know, as a matter of right and at the same time uh, responsibility. Because yeah. as I've said, each and every word you can make a person. So that is how I, I think I'm blessed to be associated with something so ancient, yeah. like eight to 10,000 years old science and I'm, I'm doing it at this, in this era. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why people used to believe it and mm. not even believe it, they knew it was right. They knew True. it had, like they studied it for centuries. Weren't there also mentions in Hindu scriptures about uh, astrology? Of course, as I've said, is a part of Vedas. So it is It is mentioned over there and everything has come okay. from there actually. It's all sages. You know, at those times, uh, it is quite interesting. Whatever they have calculated at that time, I'm talking about 8 to 10,000 years ago, no satellite, no telescope, nothing. But whatever distance of planets and the influence of planet from Earth and every planet, their properties, they are still valid. And even, yeah. you know, the, the uh, this new era or this modern science, you know, they, they are still supporting it. And uh, the, the degrees, even interestingly, you know, when you look at your degrees and your horoscope of the planets, you call NASA and ask that, you know, I'm born in 2001 and this is, you know, tell me where my Mars or my, my moon or whatever planet are placed. They will tell you the same position what you have in your horoscope. So astrology yeah. is exactly the, the extended part of astronomy, the real placement of planet at the time of birth. So it is not something which is uh, magic or superstitious. It is it is something which is quite methodical, which is quite scientific. And uh, every, everything has a reason. Everything has a logic to it. And uh, it is not something somebody is telling you, you know, with his closed eyes, this will happen, that will happen. No, yeah. it is completely a part of the astronomy. And that is how it, it influences your life. Yeah, they used to study uh, astrology and astronomy together. Um, that's why the planets and everything made sense like why they also have planets it's because they studied both of them together um Mm. and i also noticed because i was asking i was talking to my female friends i only have female friends so i was talking to them and um we noticed that uh also i saw a lot of videos and i also looked it up but women's bodies are um in sync with the moon with the moon cycle like I, I I don't use any apps or anything anymore to uh, like you know, I just look at the moon. What phase are we in right now? And I know absolutely mm. yes, very true. I Same I think is. more people should know about this. There's no need to have a calendar. Just look at the moon outside, <laughs> and you will know. Absolutely, um, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it it works this way. 
and not yeah. only that you know it, it, it affects every kind of uh, situation like uh, you know this earth is made up of two thirds 75% water even human mm. body is made up of 75% water so whenever there are it is high, uh, full moon it brings high tide in the in the sea so if you can influence sea you know which is so mm. humongous you know so then definitely it can influence human mind which is made up of 75% water as well yeah. and that is the reason I, you know you were talking about western astrology the main uh, difference in western and in indian astrology is that is based on sun indian astrology is based on moon because oh. moon is emotion so yes. you if you are happy you feel everything is good if you are upset then nothing is good so it is it what makes, you want yeah uh, okay I've la- one last question i wrote this down um is there one thing you could tell your uh a younger self who was struggling while finding the right path what uh what would it be that one thing you could tell them uh yeah i should have met an astrologer to understand my journey <laughs> so so if you know he would have told me correctly you know this is what my journey is and this is not what i am looking at uh, can come to me uh, it would have saved me uh, loads of years and uh, maybe uh, you know i would have ex- accepted it as my part of destiny but everything is i think uh, on a serious note i would say everything is is learning i believe in astro- life is is all about learning experiences is the name people give to that mistake that i've said just now so i think that struggle has has made me a different person i am still rooted i am still grounded i i am still not very happy with something good is happening i am still not very upset when something goes wrong you know so i have evolved so i will thank to my journey obviously everyone has to you know everyone is not born with silver spoon so i have to go through every up and down and turbulence in life and that has made me a better person and that is how i i appreciate things that is how i am grateful uh, towards everything and i cherish my my journey and yeah, that is how i feel how i should ha- help a person and how i should influence people to to lead a better and happy life and they should not commit those mistakes with somebody or who even i have done in my life so yeah. i think it is a big responsibility and i i'm doing it happily i think it's a good thing to not always be completely happy with something because it shows you that you're still evolving and learning because that's what we came here to do on earth Absolutely. it's a certain lesson we are learning and we can only learn it by continuing to evolve, evolve. yeah I'm always open to learn with anyone even from uh, today I learned few things from you so it is always like that <laughs> that is the reason we have two years listen yeah. more see Steve, Steve Jobs said always be hungry and foolish hungry is a desire you know, to get it mm. in germany we have a saying it says tomaten in an den augen it basically means that you have tomatoes on the ears when you're not listening or like we also say it comes in from one ear and goes out the other so maybe that's also a reason we have two ears <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes you need to let go also of course yeah. right. thank you for your call um it was lovely having you and i was very honored thank you very much no you're welcome brinda it was lovely connecting with you you are also a powerhouse of energy you are you are smiling all the time and that is what <laughs> we need to uh, you know connect this way and uh, anyways uh, you know uh, uh, i think whenever you are in india you are most welcome uh, i'm in mumbai and uh, it is uh, it, you know it is always a connect you know so i believe in all that so great and anyone who who wish to connect with me they can go google my name sandeep kochar or go to my yes. website which is sandeepkochar.com and that is how you know internet can yeah definitely check him out okay <laughs> okay have a nice day thank you very much yeah, you for... too all the very best god bless you and keep smiling thank you you too <laughs>